from Lexington, Kentucky. Originally, he moved up to Louisville, Jonathan Higgins. And my, my Silver Street school buddy, and all the other years on bass, Butch Neal. Butch fell through a, uh, his porch, what, a week and a half, two weeks ago? And he landed on his elbow, so he can't, his rotary, what you call it, is gone right now. And he's, he's still playing the bass, so he sets the bass down and we help him carry his equipment. Uh, it, should we play one more? Yeah! yeah. Okay. Autumn leaves. Autumn leaves, it's that time oh, of year. Oh, yeah. And incidentally, the piano player you were listening to while you are reading was Steve Ali, and he lives in Nashville, Indiana, and he does music for the Bob and Tom radio show, if any of you listen to that. <laughs>
All right, I want that to be my intro music from now on. <laughs> Put your hands together again. That is so amazing. Still have our glasses still. I, I want to take this moment uh, to thank you all for allowing me the honor of being here. Uh, Jamie, I never had the chops to do jazz. I studied improv theatrical, and I have truly found that uh, in hearing your colleagues talk, there, there is something sacred in music and in improv. In that moment, you're co-creating something with a higher power. It's a beautiful moment. And the only thing to me more sacred than that moment is helping to teach others how to get there. And that's what you spent your life doing, Jamie, and it's just an honor for me to be here. I thank you for allowing me to be in the presence of a jazz, true jazz great. Now, I am pleased to ask all of the IU grads to restrain yourselves in this sea of crimson. Yeah, we have one who we have one boilermaker. No, if have he's wearing time. gold, he's going to be in big trouble. We have John Mathis here in the house to do our toast right now. He graduated from <laughs> Purdue University. <laughs> By the way, I was born in West Lafayette, so yeah, we can make some noise for boilermakers. Back in 1962, had his degree in pharmacy, married a lovely wife, Betty, has three children, and a grandchild. Now, apparently, uh, John and Jamie grew up in the same neighborhood in New Albany. And uh, like Jamie and his wife, uh, John and Betty, are members uh, of the United Methodist Church. They've attended there for years, a Sunday school class led by Jamie. Do you start your Sunday school class? One, two, <laughs> one, two, three, four. They've been friends for many, many years. Please welcome John Mathis for our formal toast. Hey, uh, you fans, uh, you're 0 and 4 2 in the conference. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard of uh, many of Jamie's accomplishments, and uh, my connection with Jamie, other than growing up around the corner from Jamie and across the street from Ron Butch Neal. Jamie has been my Sunday school teacher for the over 15 years. Before that, his brother Stan had the good job. And as you can imagine, we've discussed many controversial subjects, probably from atonement to Zionism, often to the dismay of the more fundamentalists. We've been scrutinized.